tomorrow, Dad. Later, Benny. Boys, captain's leaving. Peace. See you, boys. Gotta be kidding me. Sorry, let me help you with that. Sorry. Uh, it was partially my fault anyways. Not the best first impression on my new roommate, huh? <sighs> um, well, I'm Sienna. You must be Lila. Yeah, welcome to our temporary home. Um, come in. Sorry I haven't helped you move in. I've been running errands all morning. Oh, do you need a hand? No, I think I got it. Thanks, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just excited to have a new roommate this semester. They always said, never room with your best friend and take it from me. Don't do that. Well, I didn't mean it like that. We could still be friends. <laughs> so, what's your story? Uh, I'm sorry? Well, why are you moving dorms and halfway through the semester? Oh, you know, just two different people didn't get along that great. I transferred here in the fall, so she already had her friend group, and I just cramped her style, I guess. That's so rude. I mean, I just can't stand people sometimes. Like, who raised this generation? Oh, that's a cute bear. Thanks. Did you get it from a special someone? Am I gonna have to leave the room sometimes? No, it's from someone else. It was my younger sister's. Oh, that's cute. What's her name? Mariah. You know, I have a younger brother, Sebi. Love him to death, but excuse my French, he can be a real pain in my ass sometimes. I bet you get that right. Yeah. I am lucky though. Sebi also goes to Hudson, so I get to see him a lot. He's just a little baby freshman, though. That is lucky. <sighs> well, hate to do this, but I got some errands to run. Do you want to meet for dinner later? Sure. Okay, you have my number, right? Yeah, I should be finished unpacking by then. Okay, I'll see you later. See ya.
hilarious. Oh, I know. What are you doing? Just ordering coffee. Wow. Who would have thought? Heavy. Hey, hey, I was great. Good, I was yours. You know me. All, All good. good. You must be Sienna, the Wicked Witch of All Sisters. At least that's what Sebby says. Says he now? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nah, I'm just kidding. I talk shit about you all the time. Well, that's real nice coming from my own little brother. Well, you must be Noah. I've heard you're quite the jokester. Damn right I am. That's what Sebby learns from the best. Yeah. That's a pineapple. I love pineapple. Not a big pineapple guy. Well, that's my cue to go. Nice meeting you, Noah. Nice meeting you. Sebby. in-depth analysis. See ya. Me too. Not so fast. Since when do you read Journal of the Pathetic Boy, Miss 4.0? Oh, I, um, uh, I missed out in middle school. You know, I'm just trying to get the childhood I never had. I can tell when you're lying. Fine. This is a huge secret, though. You can't tell anybody. Ooh, I love secrets. I know, that's the problem, Seb. I'm serious, you can't tell anybody. Depends on what it is. I'm serious, Seb. You need to promise me right now. Okay, okay, fine. Oh my god. I know. I told you I'm serious. You can't tell a soul. I won't, I won't. Can I write an article about it? Oh my god, Seb, no. Why? Who's gonna find this school paper take me seriously? Not give me writing about what's for dinner. I'm the one that's gonna have to pay the price for this. I just told you not to tell anybody. You said I couldn't tell anyone. You never said I couldn't write about it. Uh, that, that's like the same thing. Oh, I can't do this right now. I'll talk about it later. Okay, bye. Love you. Have fun at book club. Please don't slam the door. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Hi, everyone. I didn't expect to see you here, Lila. Uh, yeah, me neither. Hi. Um, I just thought I'd introduce myself. I'm Callie Winters. I am a pre-law major. My professor is actually letting me sit in so I could do research on the new court system. Um, but I won't actually be on the jury. Um, I'm just going to be here every day, though, so I thought I would introduce myself to everyone. But just pretend like I'm not here. Just a fly on the wall. I didn't know we were doing icebreakers already. Any fun facts you'd like to add? Well, actually... No. No. Well, it's nice to meet you, Callie. So, are we waiting on anyone else? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Vinnie Baker, right? We got a couple classes together. Yeah, um, Captain of Lacrosse Team. Uh, that's not exactly what I asked, but good for you, I guess. If y'all could quiet down, please, if you could take your seat, sir. Hello, my name is Officer Blake. I'm the bailiff residing over this jury here. I'm here to answer any questions or concerns you guys may have, and also to read the instructions which are in this sealed box. Pop this open. This is the first time the New York State Leeway Court System will be put into action here at St. Hudson University. The Leeway Court System has been put in place due to the overwhelming increase of crime in New York State and in colleges. The recent developments of scientific research regarding the development of the human brain, it has been determined that a human brain is not fully developed until 21 years of age. Due to this, the leeway court system was created, which is being tested in eight colleges in New York State. These cases are being tested are considered non-violent crimes, which is defined as anything other than murder. The state believes that college students are equipped to make these serious decisions. 
You have all set the testimonies from the accused, accuser, and two witnesses. You've listened to the lawyers make their claims on whether this case should be brought to an adult court or kept at St. Hudson University officials to handle. As you all know, you've been selected to be on the student jury and will decide what the next step with this case is. You've all been sworn to secrecy about your position and the case in general in order to respect the privacy of you and others involved. If you break the rules, you'll be removed from the jury and be replaced by an alternate juror. The dean will then decide your punishment moving forward. For clarification, the jury does not decide the verdict of the accused. They simply decide whether this case moves on into a legitimate court of law. Now to make sure you're all here, please state your presence and student ID number when your name is called. Vincent Baker. Here. 025639. Thank you. Now, I forgot, no phones are supposed to be used in the jury, so please, if you could, put your phones in the box. Uh, next, Noah Griffin. Hey, what up? 024810. Okay. Sienna Matthews. Present. 029831. Thank you, Ms. Matthews. Finally, Lila Parker. Me. Um, sorry, I'm still trying to memorize it. 034628. Okay. My part's done. I will be outside if you need me. You have until 5 p.m. to deliberate, and then you are free to leave. gonna take our phones like that? How's Jack? Oh, um, good. Our uh, two-year anniversary is next week, so. All right, let's get this over with. I got shit to do. Well, I guess we should just start by going over the facts. Well, we do know it was at the big end of the season football party. Right, and uh, she claims that she was groped by the wide receiver when they were alone upstairs. Who even is this kid? He's on the football team. Tall, blonde hair, big partier. Wasn't she drunk? Why does it matter? Well, she was drunk and upstairs alone with him. How reliable of a source is she? I mean, we have to take into account his side of the story. Good point. So he claims that she instigated it. Um, she brought him upstairs and she told him she liked him. Well, where do we go from here? Well, remember what the witnesses said? I thought you were taking notes. I am. Taking note of what you forgot. She's got a point. There are two witnesses that we still have to take into consideration. Her friend and his friend. Oh, I wonder whose side they're going to take. <laughs> so, her friend claims that she saw her go up with him after she was visibly drunk. And then, after it happened, she came downstairs crying, and she made her friend leave. And then, uh, she told her that she was groped on their way home. Well, John told his boy that she was flirting with him all night before inviting him upstairs. Can you slow down? I didn't get that last part. She invited him upstairs. Wow, very helpful. I don't got time for your shit, Griffin. Hey, you don't have to be mean. No, no, it's fine. The Vinster here was just kidding. Right, bud? No. All right, guys, let's get back on track. Great idea. My notes are lacking. Well, this track is at a dead end. True. I don't even get the point of this whole thing. They're trusting four college kids to make a decision that affects our classmates' well-being. I don't know about you guys, but I'm more concerned about my accounting test on Monday. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be funny right now. This is the worst idea the government has ever made. I'm calling bullshit. I wouldn't say worse. Pretty damn close. Guys, I know it's not an ideal situation right now. Got that right. Can we backtrack for a quick sec? Did you just agree with me? Listen, we were selected, and we at least need to give it a shot, no matter how bullshit it is. Court system is a mess anyway. At least the government is starting to realize it before it gets worse. Did he just agree with me? I think it's good that the college is acknowledging it. This is a serious topic, and we shouldn't be joking about it either. That was a great point, Lila. I think another testimony that was really interesting was the coaches. Yeah, you guys should talk more about that. Well, you 
say we could leave at five? I thought so. Yeah, we should probably figure out something for dinner. Should we go to the dining hall or a restaurant? I'm a little short on cash right now, so I'm gonna vote dining hall. You know, guys, I would go with you, but I got a birthday dinner, my dad, black tie, so you guys have fun. I'm out. All right, bougie boy. You too bougie for us too? Definitely not. I'll come with. Perfect. What about you? Probably not. All right, I guess we should leave now to get a good table, so. Should I tell Jack you're with the girls tonight? Oh, he'll probably be hanging with the boys anyway. Oh, guess I wasn't invited to that either. I wonder why. All right, we should probably head out to get that good table. Sounds good. Yeah. So I was probably gonna get it. Why do you always have to be so bitter? Why won't you give me a reason? What did I do? Let's just go. Kelly, please, just give me something. Anything. Honey, I don't want to talk right now. Please, just leave and just go. I don't want to leave. I love you, Kelly. I'm still in love with you. Just tell me why. I'm begging you. Please, go. Hey, what's up, sis? Well, I'm good. How are auditions? Did you get the part you wanted? That's amazing, Soph. I'm so proud of you. You have to tell me what it is so I could come and watch. Oh, nothing much. I'm heading back home to get some work done. I miss you, too. I'll be home soon enough. Wait, before you go, do you think I'm bitter all the time? Oh, forget I asked. It's not a big deal. Love you. See you later. Can I get yeah? Give me your darkest beer. Thanks for asking. Had a couple tours, meeting with the baseball coach about taking pictures for their games. You know, just working my way through college. No thanks to you. This court thing is a complete waste of my time. I could be at the comedy club picking up extra gigs to pay for your rent. 
Well, it's not a complete waste of time. Met this girl. She's pretty cool. Her name's Lila. But instead, I'm here taking care of you, making sure you don't die. I remember this episode, it was mom's favorite. Remember when she laughed so hard, she spilled all the popcorn all over herself? When you laughed so hard, tears rolled down your face? That was the first time I saw you cry. I miss her. I miss you. Things used to be so simple. Happy birthday, Pops. Oh my god, I had Professor Sanchez last semester. He was the worst. That makes me feel better. I wouldn't worry about it. I think you'll get through it. You seem pretty smart. I already missed the first assignment. Oh, well, at least you can blame it on the leeway system, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Lila, what's your major? Adolescent education. Nice. What grade were you thinking about teaching? If it were me, I would teach the younger kids. I've already been through the high school drama once. I actually want to be with the high school kids. I want to make an impression on them. I know I needed it when I was their age. Mm -hmm. Plus, they can go to the bathroom on their own. No potty training. That is definitely a plus. Yeah, I'm excited to hear more about your guys' classes. My classes are so boring. It's just lab after lab after lab. I can't imagine that. It must be so hard. Well, I can't imagine taking a law class. I can barely stand in front of a class, let alone an entire courtroom. It's not that bad. It just takes practice. So, uh, Kelly, since you're a pre-law major, what's your stand on this trial? Oh, but technically we aren't supposed to talk about it. But hypothetically, if we weren't involved and we could talk about it, I would be on the state side. Cool. What does that mean? It means that he's guilty. Oh, totally. Not everyone agrees, though. I don't like that boy. Finney's not that bad. His intentions are usually pure. Oh, didn't you guys used to date? What happened? Just didn't work out. Two different places in life, I guess. Well, for what it's worth, I think you still mean a lot to him. Yeah, and I've heard about all the other girls that mean a lot to him, too. Noah seems nice and funny, too. Oh, he is. He's friends with my brother, Sebi, and he told me he was going to be a future comedian. He's really rich, too. I wonder what fancy restaurant he's at now. I know. I could really use a filet over this. He's kind of cute, too, don't you think? I should go. I have a lot of homework. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye. Sienna, where have you been? We really need to talk. I just had a long day and I have so much more to do. Can we just please talk about this tomorrow? I don't have time. Give me five minutes. I'm gonna head to the room. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this shouldn't take too long. What is it? Well, 
I've been thinking a lot about our conversation from before, and I think this is a big story. It'd be a crime not to write about, and I'm not a criminal. I'm a man of the law. Subby, you're 18. You haven't even finished puberty. That's not the point. The point is, the Hudson Times is not taking me seriously, and you know my writing. It's good writing, better than half the people there. You know what? No. Better than three quarters. Honestly, there's only one senior that can compete. The staff should be taking notes from me. Firstly, it's a school club, and you're a freshman. Sebby, know your place. Secondly, no. I just told you that I would have to take the blame okay, for all of Okay, okay. Forget the school's paper. This is such a big story with viral potential. Dad could see this. Isn't that worth the risk? Working your way up in the school paper is not going to get Dad back. He's not coming back. It doesn't matter what Mom says. We both know the truth. Do you ever wonder if he still thinks about us? Do you still think about him? You know Mom thinks that I'm the key to bring Dad back. I'm just a tool to her, and I'm sick of feeling that way, and I just don't want you to fall into the same trap. I'm tired of everyone treating me like a child, especially you. I'm not eight years old anymore. I can make my own decisions. Yeah, I know you can, but you can't talk about this. Everyone involved is going to get hurt, especially me. I know you really care about this, but please just try to have a level head. A lot is riding on this, so just think about the implications. I'm just looking out for you. I know, I know. I made the right decision. Thank you. I love you, Sebi. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. The articles ago. Hey, what you doing? Nothing much. How was talking with your brother? It was fine. I think I talked some sense into him, so. That's good. I'm uh, gonna take a shower. Okay, I'll probably be sleeping. I had a long day. Okay. <laughs> 